we go. Boy Reviews! All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. I am bringing you an unboxing video today. Got a package here sent to us all the way from good old England. You can see right there, British Corner Shop. I'm trying to read it backwards and from the back there. The British Corner Shop. This is from one of our patrons from Cricket for Americans, Han Solo. Thank you so much, Han Solo, for the love. Thanks for being a patron, and thanks for sending this. He uh, sent this a little while ago. It took some time to get here, and I finally have it. And I think he had said that there might be some, uh, some goodies in here. So Gabe's not in this unboxing, but I'm going to be sharing this bounty with him, with Jody, as we try different things out, and uh, definitely be letting Han Solo know how we felt about the snacks. So thank you so much for sending this. Don't forget, if you're new to Boring Reviews, we don't always do unboxing videos. Every once in a while we do. We do reactions, comedy, food, all that kind of stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this unboxing video. I have the camera pushed back a little bit so you can see the top of my desk so I can bring this stuff out and display some of these things for you as I take everything out because there's quite a bunch of, bunch of stuff in here, especially if it's all snacks. You can fit quite a bunch in there. But thanks again, Han Solo. We really, really appreciate the kindness and the thought. And... I'm going to share this with the Cricket for American audience as well. What is up, Cricket for American audience? You guys know Han Solo very much for his awesome, awesome jokes and comments. But I think it's time just to jump into this. If you do like cricket, go ahead and check out our other channel, Cricket for Americans, to uh, see what we're doing over there. But let me go ahead and position this in a spot where you cannot see it before I see it. Okay. Take out some of the stuffing here. Hey, look at this. My order was placed with care by Ariana. Thank you, Ariana, for placing this. Holy cow, there's so much stuff in here. I do not recognize too much of it. Oh, no, this one was open. Oh, that's such a bummer. It got open in the box. Smells good. This is Monster Munch. Monster Munch. 20% extra free pickle onion. Man, it was already open. That's such a bummer. I might just be crazy enough. Still pretty good. It's not stale. I'm sure it probably just got open a little bit from some of the heat, maybe in the box, traveling a long way. But Monster Munch Pickle Onion Snacks. Never heard of this before. It's from Walker's. Looks like the Lay's symbol. I wonder if that's the Lay's from uh, our friends across the pond. But smells good, has a different pickle onion. Never tried any chips with that kind of flavor before. We have sour cream onion, but this is quite different. And it's it's one euro. Thank you for that. Here's our Monster Munch. We also have, this one's not open, also from Walker's. This is Max Double Crunch KFC Zinger. Oh, the Colonel, the Colonel flavored. Max. I have never heard of this one either. Also for one euro. But it looks good. Is it it's got it's got some fire on there, so does that mean it's gonna be spicy? Decided to try this out. I'll have to do another video where we actually taste taste these things, the ones that haven't been opened. Alright, next we have Twiglets. What in the world is a Twiglet? Is that something you get off the tree for crying out loud? Jacobs, the Baker Brothers, a whole lot of crunch in a multi or in a whole grain munch. Okay, whole grain snacks, twiglets, and they do kind of look like twigs from the picture right there. Wow. Again, never heard of this before in my entire life. This is a big old bag, man. Big old bag. Excuse me. Tyrell's hand cooked English crisps, sweet chili, and red pepper. How dare you get the spicy ones? You know what that does to me. I cannot be, uh, I cannot resist though. I love the picture though. Look at the picture. You got some, some like, uh, turn of the century with those constables, police officers, all <laughs> hugging a big chili. Obviously, that was added in later on. Oodles of flavor, it says on the back. Sweet chili and red pepper. English crisps. 
Now I know in in England and maybe some other places in Europe they call we call French fries they call those chips, and so what we call chips they call crisps. I'm pretty sure. So English crisps are types of chips. Let's see. Oh, more mon monster munch. Not. Oh my gosh. This one's not open. Roast beef flavor. Roast beef. I've never heard of a chip, a crisp, if you will. That's. This is flavor baked corn snacks. I've never heard of roast beef. I've had the roast beef cup of noodles before, but nothing like this. This one's not open. Very 100% safe. Excited to try this one out. I like the size of these ones right here. I mean, I'm assuming it's the same size. I like the size of the, the snack. Very good size. I only had one. And even, even, even a bite is somewhat filling. I'm not going to lie. All right, what else we got in here? We got Quavers, light curly potato snack, cheese, flavored potato snack. <laughs> so we have, you know, potato chips. That's everywhere around the world, not just America. Um, never heard of Quavers. Never heard of potato snack before. They didn't even put the word chip in there. They just call it a light curly potato snack. This time he gave us some basic regular cheese, nothing too crazy. Man. That one looks really good. I'm excited to try all of these out. Not going to lie. I kind of don't want to do... Oh, there's a lot of sweets in there. I kind of don't want to do one video where I try all the things out because then, you know, they're all going to go bad. But it is the name of the game. We got some more Twiglets. Original. So we doubled it up for me. For us. More to share. Sharing his can. I wonder if this is his favorite one. He gave us two of those. Thank you so much. Oh, and now the sweets. Oh, my gosh. Is this all sweets? Oh my goodness gracious. I love the sweets. Oh, this looks amazing. Rhubarb and custard. Squashies. Drumstick. Squashies. These look like marshmallow snacks. Marshmallow is probably one of my favorite snacks in the entire world. Look at that. Marshmallow snacks. Rhubarb and custard. Never had a candy in my life with that flavor, but that sounds really, really good. Penguin. Now I have I have heard of penguin. I'm not sure how. P -p Pick up a penguin. Original. Milk chocolate covered biscuit bars. Biscuit bars with chocolate cream. I wonder if these are like uh, Kit Kats or something like that. Looks like it. Biscuit bars. I wonder. Will it survive the trip from England? It's good till November. Look at that. It's good till November. Penguin. I'm gonna put it right there on top. Holy cow, what are these? We got, oh, how dare you? Oh, I know why you sent this to me. Jammy Dodgers. Now, they look really good, but how dare you send me something that says Dodgers on it. You are an evil man. Evil, evil man. Raspberry flavored. These look really, really good. I've had cookies, treats like this before where you have like the jam in the center right there. I've never had this type before, but I've had these types, of be these types before and they're really good. We got wagon wheels. Six individually wrapped wagon wheels. All it tells me is epic inside. Wagon wheels. Let me know which of these you guys have had if you're not from uh, good old England. Ozjod, I know you're watching. I'm sure this is like all stuff at the regular store. So far, I have not seen one thing that you can get at the store here. Maybe Penguin, but I've, I don't know where I've seen that before. This looks familiar. Is this a type of marshmallow? Yeah, Molo. Oh, dude, I love marshmallow, as I mentioned before. Wagon wheels. Holy cow. I love all this stuff. I've never heard of before. Crawford's jam rings. Once again, this is like the, the Dodger. How dare he find a Dodger thing? <laughs> this is like that one. Haven't had this type before. Maybe I have, I don't think. We got smaller snack here. Bacon flavored fries. Oh, that's all I need to know. Bacon flavored fries. Ooh, don't cover the face. Nice little quick snack. So pick me up. I thought I said Barbies. Jelly babies. Are they all melted together? No, I don't think so. I think they're all separated. Contains fruit juice. Jelly babies. Once again, have never heard of this from Maynard's Bassett's. You got Baby Bonnie Bubbles. They got names? 
Big Heart, Bumper, Boofles, and Brilliant. I like the uh, alliteration there. <laughs> Jelly Babies. I'm going to eat some babies. Holy cow. Tons and tons of candy. Now, here's one I have heard of before. It's a different um, design, but Kit Kat, even the white one, the Kit Kat white chocolate that we have here is a different package so that's cool it's a different package right there interesting how they would have different packages in different countries this one is all types of melton <laughs> very soft had that obviously oh, kit kat crunch i don't know if i've had a kit kat crunch this one's also a little melted but that's okay it's all good till it's september put that in the fridge will be good to go again different package i don't think i've ever had a kit kat crunch I love Kit Kat, so that looks delicious. Crunchy. Ooh, Cadbury. I love Cadbury. Cadbury eggs every year for Easter is delicious. Cadbury chocolate's really good. Never heard of Crunchy. I'm not going to lie. The design itself is not really grabbing me. It reminds me of something that you'd see in um, Lost. What were those? Apollo bars or something like that? But Cadbury, I trust their candy-making skills. Ooh, what is this? After eight. An after dinner mint? <laughs> Delightfully minty fine chocolate bites. Cool. Oh, no. It's open a little bit. No, I didn't survive the trip. But I can after dinner mint. It's only on this side. I wonder if I can be crazy enough to eat some on this side. You know I got to try one out. But I'm not sure about that one. It looks good. Might be like a junior mint type situation. We got scampi flavor fries. Scampi? Like the seafood scampi? Scampi flavored, fl flavored fries? Can't say that three times fast. Scampi? I don't think I know what scampi is. I'm thinking like seafood, but I'm not sure if that's what it is. Another Kit Kat. Ooh, a chunky peanut butter. Chunky peanut butter. Definitely don't have these here. Thank you so much for that. What is this? Chew it's black currant flavor. I don't know what black currant is. I don't know what chew it's are. Are these like starbursts? That's what it kind of looks like. Definitely excited to try this one out. Not damaged at all. We got some more scampi flavored fries, scampi and lemon flavored cereal snack. This is like a breakfast food. No, you wouldn't just put this in a bowl of of milk would you cereal snack oh look at this one did not oh that's a good one too that did not survive at all it's not open it's just melting cookie dough cookie dough chocolate chunky from kit kat kit kat why do you hate us here in the states you don't give us a cookie dough flavor option you don't give us the crunchy or the chunky sensations Ooh, a street mix inspired by mumbai Sensations Street Mix. So what is this? This is crunchy coated onion peanuts, rice sticks, hints of coriander peanuts, crackers, blend of spices. So this is like ultra savory, right? Ultra spicy <clears throat> as far as different flavors and not as far as hot spicy. We got another bacon flavored fries, cereal snack. That gets me every time. The cereal snack. I need definitely more information here. We got cheeselets. Another Jacobs. Not heard of those before. Cheeselets. They don't look like cheeses, but it makes me think of cheeselets. Cheeselets. That's another new one. These are all so new. Another cookie dough from Kit Kat. He, knows, he must have known the wife would have really liked that. Another cheeselets here. There are different flavors for cheeselets. Oven baked, not fried. Man, he put so much stuff in here. You got to know that I'm trying to uh, lose some LBs. Another crunchy bar. That one really, that one survived. I mean, that one's not melted at all. Good job, crunchy. You survived there. Oh, there's some other stuff in here. It's not just snacks. Let me get everything out of the box so I can get the box out of the shot. All right, let's see what this is here. What 
could it be? It could be anything. He's got some good tape on here. Woo! A jar. Lemon curd. Lemon curd. Look at that. Survive Gale's lemon curd. I don't know what lemon curd is. That is that like a like a tart type of uh, jam? I don't know what lemon curd is. Just like lemon filling like you have in lemon pie. Selected lemons for deliciously tangy tastes. Enjoy. Spread thickly on hot buttered toast, muffins, or yeah, so it's a type of jam. I love lemon. I love curd. Thank you. That that is awesome. I wish I had. That's going to smash the Dodgers. Ooh, maybe I want to smash the Dodgers. Smash them all up. And then we got Brit Kits. Don't know what a Brit Kit is. Your British favorites have arrived. Oh, I'm so glad they've arrived. Oh, my goodness gracious. Even more goodies. This guy's out of control. Dairy Milk Caramel. Now, I have seen that before. Those are delicious. Another Kit Kat white chocolate. It's melted, but it's it's survived a little more. Thank you for your care. Ooh, this this reminds me of like Willy Wonka and all the different types of candy bars. Cadbury Flake. I'm really excited about these Cadbury ones. Cadbury Flake. We got a double decker. Oh, double decker. And, and it's another Cadbury. Anytime you say double decker or anything, like Taco Bell here, we have double decker taco. I'm in. Double decker candy bar, I'm in. I once worked at Domino's Pizza. I made a double-decker pizza. Two levels of pizza was disgusting. <laughs> we didn't cook all the way. It was horrible. But this looks awesome. Double-decker. We got another... Uh, this is a whole nut. Another Cadbury dairy. A little melted there. We'll put all these in the fridge. We'll be good to go. Ooh, this is what I need. A boost. Another Cadbury. Man, Cadbury. Why are you holding out here on the States? How come you don't give us any of the Cadbury stuff? Besides the the usuals, you hate us. Air, oh my god, gosh, this is like it's so melted, <laughs> it's so melted, it's just cream inside. Arrow, purely chocolate. Oh, that looks like purely deliciousness right there. Oh, and it's like one of those air bubble chocolate. Oh, I would have loved that. I'll I'll uh, I'll cool it off. I don't think it's going to. Give me that air bubble game. Those things are so good. Another dairy milk Cadbury uh, smoothie. <laughs> we got, this is making me so happy. You can see the smile on my face. A Whisper. That looks good. Like pure on full chocolate. Can you see that? Whisper from Cadbury. I'm telling you, Cadbury, you let me down. And this one, this last one I have seen before. I think, I could be wrong, a bounty. Have I seen, I think I have, maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of the Zero Bar, because it has this same style. Maybe I haven't had this, but this is coconut. Is this like a Mounds Bar? Love Mounds Bars, with the, I love coconut. So I mean, what do you think? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a, a shot right here. I'm gonna take a picture of all this stuff. Show you a shot of it right there. What do you think about what I got? This is a pretty good haul. Han Solo, you are the man. Thank you so much for all the love, all the attention. Going out and buying all this stuff. I can't imagine how many euros this cost. Thank you so much for hooking us up and caring about us. We care about you. and We appreciate your support. And we'll keep bringing you some live streams and some other videos. Everyone else, thank you so much for all that you do. Let me know which of these are the best, which of these are your favorite. Even those that were melted, they weren't melted. I'm still going to try them out. But let me know which of those are your my fav are your favorite. Let me know if you want a video where we try all of this. I kind of would like to snack on a little bit here and there, like in the live streams and whatnot. Let me know. I'm definitely going to be sharing this with Gabe as well and Jody. But thank you so much, Han So. Thanks for so much for watching this video, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, adios.